you know, I thought it was pretty good, actually. I mean, it's a typical fall event. You know, you're competing as a team for the first time, and you know, it's a lot of mixed results. You know, mostly very good results, and somewhere in the middle, and a couple, you know, not so good. But for a first weekend of competition, we acquitted ourselves very well and competed very well throughout the course of the weekend. You know, the, as far as the, to address the team chemistry, I, I think it's been very good so far. Um, just at practices, they're working well together. I think off the court, you know, things are uh, th things have been things have been good. You know, we've had um, you know we had basically three doubles teams out there. You know, uh, upperclassmen with a newcomer playing with one another, and I felt it was very good. You know, I thought our doubles was very cohesive all weekend, which is kind of a surprise. I think doubles is an area early on that gives every coach in this sport a headache. But thought you know our doubles was very good in terms of tactically being in the right position. That said, you know, we got to execute better at times, which is always the case in doubles. But, you know, I think team chemistry and the, and the newcomers, I think everything has been pretty good in that area. I think early on, you really do focus on those newcomers because you're more familiar with the upperclassmen and not to undersell what they did over the weekend. I, I thought what was impressive about the newcomers was, you know, a lot of them, they, the newcomers probably had the most competitive matches in terms of being in the tighter situations all weekend. And I was impressed with how they competed, their poise. I thought it was a very good sign of things to come for these kids. And, um, you know, we sent some girls up to Mason and the report Coach West gave me was very favorable with Maria Texito Garcia, Ellie Bullock advancing to the championship uh, flights of their respective division. Ellie Bullock and Amanda Huser, you know, doing a good job in, in, in the doubles. So, you know, again, for an early season tournament, I thought we handled ourselves very well. And, you know, from now it's back to the practice court. And um, I think one area that we have to really get better in is, is fitness, because, um, you know, a couple things about that. You know, it was pretty warm this weekend, which it hasn't been in Cincinnati for, it seems like, a couple of weeks. So. Conditions were pretty tough on Saturday, which, um, hey, as a coach, that's what you want to see. But I, I thought we played pretty tired in the last singles round in a couple spots, and it'll get better for sure. Secondly, you know, we just got our courts resurfaced, and they are playing extremely slow, which, again, as a coach, is a good thing because, you know, that leads to, you know, a lot of, you know, playing deep into points and making a lot of the right decisions and not pulling the trigger too soon in points. And, you know, again, that's an area I felt we did a pretty good job of, but an area that, you know, again, is going to have to improve because, you know, to be the team you want to be and to compete against the very best teams on our schedule, you know, that's what the good teams do. They play deep into points. You got to beat them by, you know, really outlasting and breaking their will and breaking their spirit. And, um, you know, it's just kind of the message that we're, we're going to keep sending to these girls, you know, as far as how you approach match play and how you get it done against, you know, quality opponents.